All right, what's up, everybody? I'm here with week five of Eleventy's weekly update video. Um, if you want to keep up to date on these videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, so this week was mostly work around bug fixes for the dev server and a new Vite integration plugin. Um, so just on the dev server front, we did ship um, support for uh, the standard Jamstack server convention of a slash 404.html file uh, and using the content from that to handle all of your 404 requests that are served on your site. Hopefully you don't have any of these, but if and when you do, um, the dev server will at least match the convention of your production servers. Um, so if you have a slash 404.html file in your output folder, uh, we'll use that for uh, 404 content on your local development server as well. Um, and that actually simplifies quite a few things. We had an example, a uh, quick tip on our website about how to add a 404 not found page to your site. Um, at least in local development mode. Um, and the same convention applied there. So previously in local development mode, you had to do a sort of this code snippet that would add a browser sync middleware. Um, and that should still work moving forward, but it's also no longer necessary if you use the new 11D dev server. I will just support that 404.html right out of the box. Um, so yeah, the big thing we ship this week is an early early release of the new 11 e Vite plugin. Now this plugin kind of does two things. Um, it allows you to use Vite as middleware with the 11 e dev server. So when you're running the dev server locally, um, it will run Vite and process Vite, uh, process your 11 e content through Vite. So if you want to use Vite to um, process your assets or bundle your JavaScript, CSS, whatever you want to do with Vite, you can now do that um, with this plugin. So it runs Vite as middleware when you're in devel local development mode. And then the other half of the plugin is that it uses Vite build to post-process your 11 d output. Um, so if you are using Vite in development mode, obviously it works different than production mode because Vite um, is sort of known for taking two separate modes, uh, one in development mode to handle things at runtime to make your development loop much faster. And the other is uh, a separate build process that modifies your uh, site to create a production specific build, um, a more optimized version of that. So we, we're now shipping a, a very early canary of that. Um, it's working in, in both uh, dev mode or server mode, serve mode, excuse me, and uh, as a post process step for your build output as well. Um, so if you want to check that out, it's 11D plugin Vite. I do want to shout out to the two other related projects in the space, Linkity, um, which is a much more comprehensive version of this. Uh, it also ships some partial hydration stuff as well. It allows you to use some component frameworks in 11D too. So if you want to try out Slinkity, it does offer a little bit more comprehensive um, Vite integration. And the other one I wanted to shout out was this Vite uh, plugin 11D. Um, and this is a kind of takes a different approach. Um, so in the plugin that I showed in Slinkity specifically, we run Vite as middleware. In this plugin, this runs 11D as middleware in Vite, which is kind of a completely separate way to do it. Um, it has its pros and cons, and you can read about that on the README. Um, so yeah, check that out. Pro check that project out as well. All right, so I did want to run through just a quick example of using 11D plugin Vite. Um, on your 11D project. So what I'm going to do here is I already have it installed um, right here. And then the other thing you need to do is add it to your 11D configuration file. Um, and this is all in the documentation for the plugin on the GitHub repo, so you can check that out. Um, but if you don't want to configure any of your Vite options or override any of the defaults that we have, it can really just be these two lines here. Um, and then we'll run the 11D, our 11D command in serve mode. I just have that on my package JSON as npm start. Um, you can see that. And this is running just 11D dev server with Vite as middleware. 
Um, so you can see that in action. And the interesting thing about this template, 11D isn't doing any SAS processing specifically. We don't have any SAS processing stuff included by default. But in this example, we do reference a SAS template. And this uses a SAS uh, variable to set the body color on our CSS. Now, this is not a great body color, so probably don't use this in production. But um, yeah, you can see that it's actually applied it. And the way that we do that is using V to um, process the SAS request uh, when the page loads. There's no like upfront processing of this SAS template. Vite is doing that all at runtime, um, which is the reason to use Vite, right? Because it's, it is optimi optimizing a lot of those requests um, by only performing that work uh, when it needs to at runtime. So yeah, kind of cool. Um, but the other half, the other part of this is that when you run 11D and, or you run 11D to process your output, we then need to also run V to post-process the 11D output as well. And the plugin also helps you with that. So um, what I'll do is I'll run 11D build, which is just the same command, but without um, dash dash serve. And that's kind of it. You can see that 11D, or excuse me, V found what it needed to process as part of our 11D output. And you can see there's some empty chunks here. That's because these sample pages I have don't have anything for V to process. So I was a little bit confused there, but um, yeah. So V post-processed my 11D output, generated the SAS files, to, uh, generated the CSS files from my SAS input, um, and then modified the URLs that I needed. And let me just show you that in uh, production. So underscore site is my output folder from 11D. Um, and what I'm going to do is just run a generic HTTP server so you know that there's no um, funny business happening here. Um, and we'll just reload the page. Um, and you can see those assets coming back. I reloaded twice. Um, and so, yeah, you can see this blah.sass file, scss file, scss file, <laughs> um, and the post-processed output from sass. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, it generates optimized bundles for the entire, for all of your templates that come out of 11 d So if you're looking for an easy way to use a bundler with 11 d um, and generate optimized builds, I would say look at this uh, Vite plugin, check it out, see if it works for your needs. Um, and if not, maybe check out some of the other Vite plugins that I mentioned at the top of the video. Um, um, and to support this work and this Vite integration, we added some new event arguments to the 11d.before and 11d.after events. So if you use those in your plugins, uh, check that out. We provide the uh, the processed final dir object, which points to your input, your output folder, your includes, uh, your data, and your layouts. Um, so you can use that in your your events as well. Um, we now have an output mode, um, which controls where your 11D build is is outputting to. So whether it's doing the file system, uh, if it's returning a JSON object or an ND JSON object. Um, and then run mode as well. So if you want to know inside of your event handler whether or not the uh, current run mode of 11D is a build or a watch or a serve, you now have access to that as well. And then specifically for the 11D after event, we also do now publish the results of the of the build. So if you want access to the input path, the output path, you, the URL, and the content, the actual HTML or it doesn't have to be HTML, but the actual processed content of 11D, you now have access to that in 11D after event as well uh, in 2.0. Um, so yeah, that's available for you to use on the 2.0 Canary release. Uh, I did want to call out the JS Party episode uh, that went up last week. Um, it's now formally released, so you can go out there and listen to the to the much nicer trimmed down like post-processed version of the episode if you didn't check it out on the YouTube channel. Um, 
All right, I edited that video and I had no ending, so you get this. Okay, bye!